Happy good morning! Today we're going to show you how to turn a cardboard box into these adorable signs. We'll make a super sweet slug bug and the ever trendy, always timeless vintage truck. Let's get started! We'll start with the truck's template. If you'd like to see how it's made, you can check out the series I created. It's in the playlist under the Vintage Farmhouse Harvest Truck. Next we'll make the template for the slug bug. You can always pause the video and write down the dimensions. I do my best to include approximate figures for both measuring systems. To make your own templates, use different size jars, trace the edges, cut the pieces, and then chop off the bottoms. To cover each vehicle, I use scrapbook paper and a glue gun. I like to use a glue gun because the glue dries faster and I'm impatient. Yeah. More time to make more crafts! That's right, Sunny. I cut out two pieces of cardboard for each fender. Then I stack them together and cover them with paper. I really think this gives our vehicles more dimension and depth. It looks so realistic! Fantastic, because that's the look we're going for. For the wheels cover circles in black, cut out two smaller circles from white paper. Add hearts as hubcaps. For the large frame, I'm using the whole side of a box. I cut the smaller frame from another side. I covered both frames with white scrapbook paper. Next, we'll cut eight strips of cardboard to represent the frame's border. Oh no, I cut too much. Looks like you're in the crafting zone. Yep, I zoned out there for a second. I was definitely in the flow. Next, cover all stripes with white scrapbook paper. And now, time for Twinkle's Head Bits. When using patterned paper to cut horizontal and vertical lines, remember to rotate your paper in the proper direction before cutting. I don't know how many times I've made that mistake. Does that ever happen to you? I used a glue stick to glue the pattern paper on top of each strip, being sure to remember Twinkle's tip. I'm so happy I found this cute heart pattern paper at Michael's. I love the mix of the pink, blue, black, and gray hearts. To create the accessories, use small leftover pieces of your pink and blue paper. One of my favorite parts of crafting is to add the finishing touches. We'll make a miniature banner for the bug and some scrabble tiles for the truck. Time for all our vehicle pieces to come together. Start by gluing your borders on first and now build your truck. Let's watch Shiny and Twinkle play a game of Scrabble. To complete the truck sign, add hearts to the back of the pickup. I added opposite colored hearts to the corners of each frame to complete their fabulous look. Repeat the same pattern for the bug. When gluing the borders, remember to glue the hearts going in the right direction. Good idea! Lastly, I covered smaller rectangle pieces of cardboard with regular printer paper and glue them to the back side of each frame. This will help our pictures stand up. These look like photos! Oh, I get it, Sunny. That's so funny. I hope you'll have as much fun making these as we did. Leave a comment and let us know how they turned out. Which vehicle was your favorite? I love the truck. I love the car. I love the hearts. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share the video with your friends. We hope you have a sweet, charming Valentine's Day, and we'll see you again next time for more amazing craft ideas. Happy crafting!